Okay, I would like to propose a new type of uh, bubble, bubbler or uh, gas flow meter measurement. I've, um, I think the most accurate kind is still the ones that fill the bottle, the upside down bottle that's full of water for an accurate uh, measurement, how many seconds to fill a half liter or whatever, but I bought some of this tube at uh, Lowe's, it's just quarter inch polyethylene tubing and I took a section of it here and you can't see it on there but using this pointed tool I've uh, just taken and poked holes all the way down there's one here and here and here about every centimeter all the way down to here the first one's about here and I've got a um, to demonstrate I've got a fish tank air bubbler that puts out about two liters per minute full blast and I've got a little air valve here that is going to let me control how much air I send into the tube and I've got a bottle of water here so I'll just plug the, uh, the little um, fish bubbler here in and the idea of this is I think this could be calibrated so that um, I'll bring this a little closer I think this could be calibrated so that the the bubbles, which you can't see too good on this film, but the bubbles are coming out of the holes all up and down the tube. And as I reduce the air with this valve, the bubbles don't make it as far down the tube. So, for instance, right now they're only coming out. They're only coming out right about this level. That's how far down the, uh, sorry, that's how far down the air is getting. It's getting to this hole. If I open it back up, Well, maybe I didn't shut it off enough. Okay, now it's getting to this hole. As I shut it down, now it's only going to this hole here. So anyway, I'm just trying to demonstrate the basic concept. Now it's coming out of this hole. As I turn it on gradually, the bubbles start coming out of progressively lower holes until finally they come out at the lowest hole and that's the hole that you would have a mark on there that says X liters per minute and you'd have to calibrate this with your regular bottle flow meter and then you could simply have lines on there and this may work a little bit better at an angle sort of like a 45 degree angle or something and it'd be better than to have it in something other than this bottle but I just thought I'd throw this out there as an idea for somebody that has the time to mess with it and experiment with a way to get a better tube, maybe a test tube or a beaker or something and and uh, experiment with the hole spacings and hole sizes. These hole sizes are probably about um, uh, they're probably less than a millimeter. I don't know. They're probably thirty thousandths or so. So it's just an idea. Let me know what you think.